Hey guys, um, yeah, I know it's been a few days since I've made uh, a video, and I'm sorry, I uh, just kind of went over my head there. Um, what I was supposed to do is I was supposed to do a four day uh, segment on those pennies in the salt water, I mean, salt and vinegar. Um, they're actually over there that. They have since been removed from the salt and vinegar. Um, I did that Saturday afternoon, I think. Anyway, here's the results. Yes, these are pennies. And uh, I can literally crumble it up with my fingers. Okay, there's one. There's one cent. Crumbled completely with my fingers. There's actually still more that'll chip off. Um, and, uh, let's see. This one is. Oh, yeah, this one will go too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that was kind of awkward. Uh,. And that's what my fingers look like after wiping all that crud off of there. So yeah, that's what happens to two pennies after... Uh, it actually ended up only being three and a half days that I left them in there. Um, so yeah, there's those. And uh, like I said, Photon, uh, if you would like to... Um, I know you probably don't have like regular pennies like these in the UK, but uh, whatever your coins may be that are copper, um, I, I I just kind of would like for you to try that that experiment with a much higher voltage. Um. So yeah, there's that. Got my little tea glass here. And, uh, no, I didn't switch all the way back to lighting, to the regular lighting. I just did it because, you know, it's, I'm not that lazy, so I can't, I can indeed change bulbs into regular bulbs. As you can see, here's, uh, now that we have regular lighting, you can see that there's the 24-inch uh, black light right there. I'll go ahead and turn it on for you so you can see it. See? There's the black light. And these are the compact fluorescent ones that go on my ceiling fan. They're still kind of warm because it's only been a few minutes since I've taken them out to uh, do the video. So there's three of those for each of the sockets on my fan. And then, that's another 24-inch bulb. Altogether, it all cost me about 40-something, 40 42, 42-something. 42 anyway, yeah, this is something I got for free at, a, at the uh, Trash and Treasure sale. I know I never I didn't show it yet, but... That's something free I got, and yeah, I know it's pink, but hey, it actually puts out some good, <coughs> good sound. It's just not very loud right now because the batteries are really bad, but if I max out the volume, they, uh, it tends to, uh, yeah, kind of do that. And I got this, and I bought this for ten bucks off somebody at school. Um thought it was stupid at first and then I listened to it and it is very loud we do have a mess over here and I'm gonna clean it up I need to um, there's my TV I don't really use it but when I when I get a good guest computer that's where that's gonna go right there um, big mouth Billy bat or Big Mouth Billy Bass. And 
Can't believe I did not see that. It's in plain sight. But of course, when every everything when your lights are purple, something purple won't show up. Unless, of course, you see the nice white tag. And obviously, you can't read what's on that poster. There is, in fact, something on that poster that's pretty neat. In fact, I'm going to turn the lights off here and turn the black light on. And you probably still can't see it very well, but it says, Welcome to the Glow Room. It has a smiley face, and it says, Hit the Lights. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty cool thing to put, you know. So, and uh, give me a second. I I got a notification on Facebook. Um, I'm very, I'm a very updating, updating type person. So, I like to see. Oh, okay, it's nothing, nothing important. Not really. Um. Let's see. What else? Um, nothing new, just random. This is the box that the black lights came in. Not the fluorescent one, not those, I mean. But the 24 inch. Only 17 watts. Now that's perfect. And, uh,. I can't remember what the uh, lighting it has. I can't remember how many lighting hours it has. I can't remember what I did with the paper that was in it. But it did come with screws. And uh, as I mentioned in the video, I think one's going to go there. And possibly one there. So I think they work a lot better when they're up in the air. And probably what I'm going to end up doing is, I don't know if I ever show you guys this up close, but um, give me a second, guys. This is my clapper. Okay. As you can see by the clever uh, label right there. Yes, it's a clapper. It does work. And there, the plugs are labeled two claps, three claps. Three claps is the only one that works. I don't know why. And I've tried to take this apart, but it is. It's only held in by one screw, but it's snap down like Fort Knox so I'm not even going to try but whoever owned it before I bought it for 75 cents um, obviously found out that the two clap didn't work for whatever reason there's probably a fuse in each one of these and uh, they sharpied it in so that's good but what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about getting uh, an extension cord, you know, a regular extension cord uh, for indoor use, not like a heavy duty yard one, but regular. Um, and I'm going to tie it in to this clapper, and if I can find it, my strobe light, I'm going to tie into that too. And so, anytime I'm making a YouTube video, and I'm going to get into video editing here soon. Um, I'm going to, you know, clap three times, and then there's going to be a random uh, party kind of scene. I mean, I don't know what it'll be, but it'll it'll be cool. But anyway, um, thanks. For Thanks for watching, and this has been another video from Hunter Short. Uh, please like, su like su subscribe, and comment. I know I just messed that up a little bit, but um, yeah. 
So if you have any questions or any video requests, I I will start taking video requests. Um, those are actually kind of helpful. So if there's any kind of experiment you want me to do, anything, uh, a tutorial on something, um, if this happens to be the first video you've seen from me, um, I am at I, I do a lot of technology kind of things, but I'm limited by what I have, so um, bear with me on that. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want to see any computer related things, just let me know and I will try to get back to you. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned tomorrow for another video. Thank you.